Older horses again, but over a mile and a half this time. Four year olds and upwards. Top one, major left for Alex Cherry. CDJ Liggett has got number two and number three, Garton Lion and Mabro Cadu. Funny Ben for David Hooney. The incident for Leon Van Rinsburg. October Breeze for Graham Clinsville. Houston Image for Vinnie Gerard. Double Chest for Darren Thompson. Cafe Pacific and Global Sale are both for Craig Allen. Tinker of Rye for Leon Van Rinsburg. First Vacation and Jane Burden for Martin Liddham. Sin Script for Graham Clinsville. And Fremont Hope. Hopeful for Vinnie Gerard. So 15 this time then, including Sin Script back from the dead, resurrected by the gods of SO7. And away they go. And funny Ben a little bit slow out, but Jane Burden closest to us was just about the first one to show, but nothing seems all that keen to take a hold of the race. And now Sin Script has come through to take it up. Graham Clutterbuck's Wonder Mare for a season or two ago, and has gone on into the lead by about two lengths already then, or probably even three now to Gart Online who's gone into second, but there's the main group of the main body of the field are in a pretty tight group as you can see. There's almost ten in a line as they pass the winning post for the first time. Ten in a line for second, but only one horse in the lead, and that's Sin Script who leads by six lengths to Double Chest, who's probably just about showing second now. Major left is probably third. Looking towards the back first vacation and Fremont hopeful are the two at the back. The one that's going quite wide is Cafe Pacific, but it's Sin Script who's the leader for Graham Clutterbuck, who's already had a winner today. Then comes Double Chest, who's in second. Then Major Left and Houston Image is getting close as well. Then the incident Global South, Funny Ben and Garton. Lion after that one, Tinker of Ryan Mid Division. Then the two in the purple and white stripes, Jane Bird and First Vacation are close at the back on the front. Cafe Pacific is wide on the track and right over on the rail in last place is Fremont Hopeful. But Sin Script Jockey just taking a bit of a tug on it past the six furlong pole, but still leads. Only by about a length now, though, to double chest in second. Global Sail in the green and yellow hoops is now third. Then comes on the outside of that one the incident right over on the far rail. Houston Images in fifth. Then Tinker of Rise next. Jane Burden's getting a lot closer. Then comes Mabru Kadu after that one. Cafe Pacific just caught a bit flat footed on this turn. Is now the back marker. And also Funny Ben is trying to swing wide with first vacation as Gart Online drops out the back as well. But it's Sin Script now being collared by Global Sail and double chest Jane Burden on the wide outside on the inside of that one Tinker of Ryan the incident also bursting through major left in the orange sleeves the two Vinnie Gerard horses on the inside one of them's hampering the other one but it's Sin Script in the lead then from Jane Burden who's gone second then comes Global Sale double chest is after that one then Tinker of Rye Houston Images trying to get into it so too's first vacation is a bunch finish then on the cards they race in the final third and a half and it's Global Sale who's gone on Global Sale from double chest Tinker of Rye Sin Script Jane Burden still there as well but Global Sale's a then clear the inside the final half furlong they go and it's Global Sound in the lead from Tinker of Ryan double chest it's Global Sound Tinker of Ryan's getting close to finishing fast on the outside Cafe Pacific as they flash past the post I think it was Global Sound that hung on another one for Craig Allen if it has and his Cafe Pacific was also finishing like an absolute train on the outside well that doesn't look it's made it into the first four according to that and we have a bunch finish for that race, really. So the top one there, the winner is Global Sale for Craig Allen, a six-year-old this time. Tinker of Rye for Leon Van Rensburg, second. Double chest for Darren Thompson, third. So six-year-olds first, second and third beating the four-year-olds. Fourth was Cafe Pacific for Craig Allen and first vacation for Martin Leland was fifth. That may give you a little bit of a clue that the horses in that race might not be that good because first vacation was in last season and the only thing it managed was a win in a 0 to 65 handicap so might not be that good a field there